Hi guys, I'm Ranga here. Today is my video, the basic security guard training. If you want to work as a security guard, you must know the basic thing. Then only you can perform your duty effectively. So, it is very important to do the training or to know about the basic duty and uh, the responsibility of the security guard. Then only you can be a professional security guard. My YouTube follower, uh, they watching the video which are related to the security guard. It encouraged me to make the many video uh, which are related to security. This course is designed to understand the basic uh, thing of the security. And not only that, if you work anywhere in the world, this course is uh, very necessary. So uh, there are many models and uh, many lessons. Today my first lesson uh, is here. Uh, always watch my video. I will make uh, the um, all video of the this course. So if you want to work as a security guard in any country, this thing are required. So today is my first video. Unit 1 Lesson A General Duty and Responsibility General Duty and Responsibility Okay, Unit 1 Lesson A General Duty and Responsibility Security guard has many duty, and he has, the security guard also has responsibility, many responsibility. So today I will teach you about that. Number one, observing and reporting. Okay, observing is seeing, right? Observing. It's not only the same. Observing means you have to notice carefully and what you saw or what you see, just note down. It is very important. Observing means notice carefully and, re and record the unusual events. Then only refer to your supervisor or manager. The main duty of the security guard is observing and reporting. This means, first of all, you observe if you find an unusual thing, such as water leakage, uh, or uh, some people are uh, committing the crime, it is seen, and just note down on your uh, notebook and report the right person. The, your first duty is observing and reporting. Number two, deterring and detecting crime. What is deterring and what is detecting? Deterring means stop and detecting means notice okay the second duty of the security guard is deterring the crime how the security guard deter the crime okay here are when you are present in a companies or any uh, other site if the people want to commit the crime they are considering or making the plan to commit the crime while they see the security guard is present there, they will change their mind. Because why? Their security, he can inform the police or he can inform uh, to the other people, the public. So they scare, they can scare. When they scare, they uh, will change their mind. So your physical presence also deterring the crime. 
Okay. The detecting the crime means when you are in patrolling or when you are doing your duty, you can see or you can see surrounding your area. There is maybe some people are fighting or they are stealing the shop, anything. That time you can report to the police. When you report to the police, police can arrest the criminals. So our duty is also detecting the crime. When the detect crime, then inform to the police. Okay. Number three, keeping good public relation. Keeping good public relation. Public relations means the security guard always interact with many people, with the public. Because why? If anybody come to your uh, guarding place, first they have to visit the security guard, right? After one week, they can interrupt the premises. So, your duty, the main, your another duty is keeping the good public reason. What is the public reason means? Talking with uh, people friendly and help the people. Uh, these things are public reason. When you are working in uh, shopping mall or you are working in hotel, anywhere, for when the visitor come or if anybody want to your uh, help and help them but don't forget your duty when you are helping the people inform them what uh, they need okay this thing are uh, public relation so you have to behave with public as a good manner keeping the good public relation is expectation from the client also. That's why you have to keep the good public reason. Number four, responding to the emergency. Number four, responding to the emergency. Okay. The security guard is the first person who responds to the emergency. Emergency are unexpected event. Okay. We don't know when the emergency is happening. So, the security guard's duty is responding to the emergency. When the emergency is happening, that time security guard must help the people or must guide the people. Every company has their own plan when, uh, when there is a fire, flood or anything. That time, is your duty for is responding to the emergency. Later we will talk uh, in detail about the how to respond to the emergency. Okay. So now just understand your duty is responding to the emergency. Number five, controlling the access using the alarm system. Number five, controlling access using alarm system. Okay. What is access? Access means enter, right? Access control means controlling the movement of people, vehicle, and materials which are in or out from your side. That is your duty. The another thing is alarm system. Using the alarm, system, you must know how to use the alarm system or the other surveillance system, such so as CCTV. Okay, when the alarm is trigger. Uh, you have to respond. How to respond the alarm that you should know. I will teach you in another lesson. Okay, now just you uh, remember controlling the axis and responding the alarm and other uh, alarm system and the other surveillance system. Okay. Number six, patrolling. Okay, the another duty of the security guard is patrolling. Patrolling means observing the large area. You can patrol on foot uh, or you can use the bicycle uh, or if the company provides you 
the vehicle, you can use that. But patrolling is observing the large area. Or the patrolling also another general duty of the security guard. Another number seven, controlling traffic. Number seven, controlling traffic. Okay, when you are working in hotel, shopping mall, sometimes you have to work in parking area, right? When the car are coming, you have to tell them where to park and how to park. And if they are if they are speedy, excessive, so you can tell them, make it slow uh, drive, okay? Because why? Some place or some, some place or some post, uh, you are directly controlling the traffic. But if in case of emergency, that time you may be, or security guard may be asked to uh, help the police in the public area. But security guard are not allowed to uh, uh, control the traffic on the main road. But if there is, in case of emergency, the police can ask you to control the traffic in public area. So that is also your duty, uh, controlling the traffic. Another is finding, number eight, finding and re reporting safety hazard. Okay, finding and reporting safety hazard. Okay, what is hazard? Hazard is the dangerous thing, right? So, when you are pat patrolling or when you are on duty, uh, at that time, if you find any safety hazard, like fire hazard, if you see uh, the electric, electric wire is, uh, is broken, or if you find there is a well uh, leakage, these things are dangerous thing. Uh, it can danger for life and danger for property. So if you find the hazard and fix it quickly, then we can save the people's life and we can save the property. And while, while you are patrolling at that time, you, you should inspect the uh, some area well, and you can know what is hazardous thing uh, are there you can report to the maintenance or you can report to your supervisor or the man manager whom you have to report once you report if the hazardous thing fix quickly then it can save the people's life and pro property from damage okay Number nine, SOP and post order. Okay, SOP and post order. What is SOP? SOP is standing operating procedure. It covers all the policy of the company. Means what kinds of policy the SOP covers? Maybe there is one policy or company policy when the employee they come in work, they must wear a uniform. If the site is construction site, wear the helmet or safety jacket or safety vest, etc. This kind of policy covered by SOP. So you have to make sure the people follow up the SOP or standing operating procedure. So this is the uh, duty of the security guard to make the people follow the SOP, standing operating procedure. The another is post order. Post order means the what the security guard must do in a particular post. In a company, there may be main security guard working together. If you are working in shopping mall, you will find there are more than 10, more than 20 security guard working there. There are many posts, there are many entrances. So the security guard who is working in main entrance, there is one types of order. When emergency happen, whom to contract, 
and when the visitor coming, uh, what to do, and the another maybe is the loading bay. If you are working loading bay, there is the another post order means how to work in loading bay. There is the another uh, post order, and if you are working making trams, there is another post order. Post order means what you have to do in the post, the particular post, it is different post by post. It is not like a SOP. Okay, so uh, when you are working in in loading bay, okay, first of all you have to check what you have to check the delivery or when the item is uh, going outside from the loading bay. You have to check that when you are working in uh, visitor entrance. You don't need to check the uh, truck or items or anything, right? You must record the visitor who are in and who are exiting. That's why what you have to do in the particular post, there is one type of memo or the post order. It is called the post order or standing order. These nine points are general duty of the security. Observing and reporting, number one. Number two, deterring and detecting crime. Number three, keeping good public relation. Uh, number four, responding to emergency. Number five, controlling access and using alarm system and other surveillance systems. Number six, patrolling. Number seven, controlling the traffic. Number eight, finding and reporting safety hazard and report. And number nine, SOP, standing operating procedure and post order. Okay, now we finish the general duties. Okay.